Hi, I'm Prakyat, an HMS developer from Huawei India Research Center. Welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to explain about Huawei Casket and show the integration steps. Huawei Cas Engine provides open APIs that are based on the Huawei MeTime service. It allows developers to integrate voice and video calling functionalities with virtualized devices, screen sharing and in-app calling in their application. It provides higher image quality with lower bandwidth requirements, clear visual and a smooth video streaming in real time even when the signal is poor. CAS service initiates the device virtualization service for sending the broadcast to discover virtual devices. Now let us integrate CAS kit into the app. Go to Android Studio, open the project build.gradle file and add the Huawei Maven repository in repositories. Once it is done, open the app build.gradle file, add Huawei Cascade dependency and sync it. Open the android manifest.xml file, add the metadata with app id, add the storage and device virtualization service permissions. Go to Cascade demo activity.class file. Check the required permissions at runtime. If the permissions have been granted, set the UI and button click events. Call the start playing methods for rendering the videos on the screen. Before that, pick a video from the gallery for rendering onto the screen. Once video got selected, set the video file path for streaming. Get the path from intent and set it into the file format. Now create an object of GL surface view and add onto the frame layout with customized parameters. Once surface view gets added, make visible the video control button. Call the casket initialization method. Check the casket it's, if it's already initialized or not. If not initialized, Initialize the broadcast receiver first and set the register receiver. Inside device discover receiver dot class override own receive method and initialize HWDMS TP service with virtual camera listener, where you will get the device information along with device ID. Camera information with virtual camera ID. You will get many more callbacks like start capture video and stop capture video when video stops or starts the rendering. Now initialize HWCAS handler instance through handler type with HWCAS service callback where you will get to know that the service is successfully initialized, failed or released. Now you can get the instance of casket helper or class through get instance method. You can unregister broadcast receiver using unregister discover receiver method. You can call send show method to show floating calling window, send hide method for when application is in the foreground and some scenes do not want to display the float ball. Call the casket release method when the app exits. Let's write out. To do that, 
Open newly installed CAS Kit sample application, tap on pick video button and select a video from the gallery. Here we get the video through broadcast receiver set on a camera view surface using CAS Kit engine. And there you go. You have now integrated Huawei CAS Kit into your application. Well, that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments area below or visit Huawei developer website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.